Welcome to Behind the Scenes, presented by Amato Media and your host, Ryan Amato. Hey, it's Ryan Amato here. Uh, we're going to talk today about karma. Yeah, everybody talks about karma. You know, karma is going to come by and smack you in the face, smack you in the head. Um, but you know, uh, what is karma? Do you do you feel sometimes that uh, things always go right? That things always go wrong? Um, you feel things like always even out for you? I want to tell you a story. We've been interviewing. Uh, for a position in our company, in our painting company, for for an office position, um, I had a gentleman come in uh, to interview with me. Uh, everything was was pretty cool up till the point of the interview. During the interview, it wasn't really a great interview. Um, they spent a lot of time talking about how things have been going wrong for them, how uh, you, you know, what was me. Um, and then at the end of the interview, uh, I don't know, I kind of felt a little animosity um, and, and just speaking about how they, they manage people, talking bad about the people that they worked for. Uh, but something something resonated or, or tweaked my, my, um, my mind during the whole interview that I thought that I, maybe I knew them. So typically, guys, what I do is I, I generally will search for that person online before the interview. So I'll look at Facebook, I'll look on LinkedIn, I'll Google search them, I'll, I'll try to find out any information that I possibly can because um, unfortunately, sometimes people put everything out online. So I can I can cut a lot of wasted time out and possibly not do that interview. So I went home that night, and it was still on top of my head. So I went to Facebook. Um, when I went on Facebook, I still didn't recognize the person that I met. But when I scrolled down, and it says, you know, in a relationship with or married to. This one said married to, and it gave me the name of the person um, and the link to their Facebook page. So when I clicked on that link... I now had a really good clue of who I was dealing with, and I went to 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 our customer portal and typed in that that person's name, and bam, there it was. So we use we use tags to be able to decipher and sort and, and pull up certain things in our company, whether that's a tag for interior painting, exterior painting. Um, the area that they live in, but this tag was bad customer. We use a tag called bad customer. And, um, what is a bad customer? A bad customer to us is somebody who is just not nice, unreasonable. Um, not necessarily some, a job that had an issue on it. Uh, Cause that doesn't mean they're a bad customer. It could have been a bad painter. It could have been a bad job. It could have just been a, a bad situation. Or we weren't met for each other. That doesn't mean they're a bad customer. We've had many um, jobs that were difficult, but they ended up coming back to us. Um, so, bad customer to us is somebody who we just do not want to work for anymore. There was something that happened on that job. Now, so I knew now um, who this was. And reminiscing back to the job, I can recall four years ago the actual estimate when I came back to the office and said, this is just not somebody we want to work for. They were they were kind of rude to me. Their time was more valuable than, than, than mine. Um, yeah, they just weren't really interested in anything uh, that I had to say. And this was a super small job, so I should have passed on it. I had, I didn't, and we did the job, and then that's where everything started from there, where um, <clears throat> there was an issue. We showed up to the job, and nothing was removed from the areas that we had to, to paint, uh, and then they told us that was our job. So again, um, their time's more valuable than ours. They're not, um, they're not respecting our team. Um, 
it was you know do it or don't do the job uh, it was it just it just went on and on and on did the job had an issue with the coating itself um, it was not any issue of the painter or the paint or the paint it just happened it was it was a perfect storm of um, the humidity and everything else that happened so we had an issue um, and trust me the guys went back our guys went back to try to make this correct for these people because they were not nice they were leaving nasty messages nasty emails they were nasty on site um, again for a very small job um, but you know we get we get it done we're not just going to usually walk away I mean unless you're physically violent so we did the job, went back and fixed everything, did everything we possibly could, and still, still they left a bad review after everything that the guys went through to try to make this right. And when I mentioned it to the guys after this interview, I said, hey, you never guess who I interviewed? They knew right away. They didn't forget. So um, this leads me to, 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 to say karma. Karma came back and and. and got this person because now they're sitting in front of me the the same person that they were rude to weren't nice to now they need now listen i don't relish in somebody else's misery they're looking for a job and i respect that they're out there they're out there trying to work um on our end i could never have somebody work for me who treats people like that uh regardless of the situation regardless of what happened it just we can't do it because um, I mean you see people's true colors when things aren't going right and things aren't always going to go right. So I just assume that that's the that's the person. When I see these people, um, I'm talking about nasty people. When I say these people, just nasty people who don't respect other people. Um, I don't want to be around them. Uh, I don't want them around our customers, our family, the people that our family is the people that work for us. Uh, we just don't want to have that. So, I, I, you know, four years ago, who would have thought that, um, you know, as they're being nasty to us, that four years later they're going to need us. Um, this happens all the time. You know, think back to your to your last couple weeks or months. Um you know, if you're nice to people and kind to people and hold that door, uh, whatever it may be, just smile at people, even if they're not nice to you, you know, just be respectful and nice and, and, and say thank you. And, you know, I'm grateful. Uh, that, that stuff comes back to you. You can't go through life being negative and nasty and taking advantage of people. Uh, it, 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 it may, and it will most likely come back to you i don't know why i don't know if it's what the reason is if it's just that's the nature of things or there's there's a different power or whatever you might believe um i truly believe it i you know you know even when you walk into a room and you get those feelings that something's not right they're you know those are the kind of feelings that you need to go with because nine times out of ten when i go to an estimate and feel weird about something and we push through and do the job anyway, the jobs never go wet, go right. So I should have listened to my intuition. So karma, intuition, your gut feeling, whatever you want to call it, I believe that it means something. And it could have saved, you know, a lot of, of not a lot, it could have saved some misery down the line um, doing some of these jobs for, for the people that, I had these gut feelings for because with painters remember painters they all they want to do is give you a good job painting is so personal painters love to paint most painters love to paint it's their it's their it's their thing you know that feeling when you're when you're working out or reading a book or sometimes you get it driving when you just your mind just goes away and you actually forget where you're at you know, uh, an athlete might call it the zone, um, staying mindful. Painters get that. Painters definitely get that. You're painting a room, you're brushing, you're changing the colors, and then you're in the zone. You're just in a different mindset. 
that is so relaxing, so productive. Um, and then the customer lays the hammer down on you and tells you that they don't like your work. That hurts. So that's when you see, you know, you know sometimes you see those crazy videos of contractors going nutso because the customer is so nitpicky or difficult to work with. It's because their work was insulted, generally. Um, it's very personal. You're putting everything you have out there into your work, and somebody tells you you don't like it. It's like, it's like you know, taking your child around who you think is beautiful, and somebody tells you that they're ugly. I mean, it 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 certainly hurts. And then on top of that, they're not nice about it. So you can certainly tell a painter that, hey, I need a few areas corrected. These areas bother me is nicer than saying, this is horrible. I don't like it. Your work is crap. And, you know, you get that. So remember when you're talking to people, um, we're all coming from a different place. We all have our different things going on. And it's just be kind. Be kind and don't let that karma come back and smack you in the head. Hey, everybody. Thanks for listening to my podcast. If you're looking for social media content for your contracting business, painting contractors, carpenters, electricians, any type of contractor, please check us out on Instagram at Amato Media or check us out on LinkedIn. We can definitely help you all out. So have a great day.